All right, um, Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20. Um, on your bed of life today, and I'm going to read the New King James Version as we continue with uh, Power from Within, part 2. And we say that uh, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Okay. And so I want to start by saying this, that uh, God desires to work in your life. There is nothing so beautiful than to be used of God. I think it's one of the most important things in life that you are used of God. And um, God can't do this. God can't use you by pushing you around except by the action of his power that is at work within you. And that is very important that you understand. But by the action of his power that is at work within you. In our theme text, uh, the Greek word for works is energeo, okay, which means to be active. All right. It means to be active. In other words, God does it not by pushing us around, but according to the degree that we have his word active in us. Okay, to the degree that you have the word of God active in you. This means that you have the power to determine how much you want to go and accomplish in this present life. Yesterday I said if it is working 10%, then God will come to that level of 10% and work within that. If it is 80%, then God will come at that level and work at 80%. So the problem is never God, but how much you allow his word to be active in you. Because God is ready to work with you only to the level and degree you invest in the word and practice it. Okay, you're not only the hearer of the word, but you are the doer of the word. And this impact is dependent on how much you pay heed to the word. Now, that's very important. How much you pay heed to the word. Because the more time you give to the word, the more you'll have it active in your life. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You can't be by the word of God every day and the word of God doesn't work because the word of God is seed and your heart is the ground. It will work. Hallelujah. It will what? Work. Listen, you will increase more as you grow in the word because this power works in us according to the hearing of faith. Galatians 3, 5. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans chapter 10. You understand what I'm saying? So this same word active, by the way, this same word active is connected with a verb whose subject is a person that performs the action. Now, I want you to understand this because it's very important. This same word active is connected with that verb. Whose subject is a person that performs the action? So, this is not something that is done through my own initiative, but the initiative of God. Because the Bible says, for it is God who works in you both to will and to do. So you see that it is God who is actually working in you. It's not your work. It's not your faith. It's not your love. It is the love of God. It is the work of God. This is the work of God that we may believe. It is the work of God. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So it is the action of his power. You get that? It is the action of his power. For this reason, the Bible says, we also thank God without ceasing because when they received the word of God which you heard from, from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which also effectively works in you who believe. You see that? The word of God effectively works in you who believe. For we who have believed, the Bible says, do enter that rest. So friends, listen to me. Master the art of activating this thing by acknowledging the word that our faith may become effectual effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in us which is in christ i acknowledge acknowledge the word of god that you are blessed with every spiritual blessing that you are above only and not beneath that he became poor for your sake that you may become rich that you are increasing and multiplying that he has blessed you that he has multiplied you you understand acknowledge the word of god every single day of your life that your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you acknowledge the word of god that your life is built under the rock and you cannot be moved you shan't be moved he daily loads you with benefits. Get every word of God that you know and begin to speak it and acknowledge it in your presence. I mean, in his presence. Am I making sense? Now, this is the only active way for you to allow this power from within 
to be efficient in your walk with God. There is no any other way that I can tell you. Okay, so listen, it is not yours to figure out the how the word will work. It is just to believe that it is working because the action of his power within is the work of God and not yours. Glory to God. And as you do that, I can guarantee you something. That for, with this power that is within and you acknowledging the word of God and letting God work in you both to will and to do, I can guarantee you something. That the best is yet to come. And God bless you.